Hi Rebecca, um, my name is Liz and I just want to tell you I really enjoyed your video blog. I thought you did an excellent job uh, breaking down the consent form and you did it really well, calm and delivered the appropriate points. Um, I'm just, you did great. I struggle a little bit with that and I just wanted to commend you on that. Um, I thought you brought up a great point of not being able to see why a counselor can dismiss a client on the consent form. Um, it did push me to search that myself and I really struggled finding that information. I happened to find one a consent form for California um, of how to dis what reasons why a counselor could dismiss a client and it said on their consent form, marriage and family therapist use sound clinical judgment when terminating therapeutic relationships. Reason for termination may include but are not limited to the client patient is not benefiting from treatment. Uh, continuing treatment is not clinically appropriate. The therapist is unable to provide treatment due to the therapist's incapacity or extended absence or due to otherwise unresolvable ethical conflict issues. So um, great job on seeing that. I thought that would be a beneficial point to put on a consent form. Um, something to keep in mind when we do ours later on. Um, I did my uh, video blog on the importance of treatment and putting out a plan out there and for the client to see and what they agree to and and how that benefits the relationship with the client therapist and the benefits when they see uh, what the client is signing up for. And uh, I was reading in a journal article on how to strengthen patients meeting response by an ethical and uh, informed consent in psychotherapy and it was done by Manuel Trichel and Martin Holtzforth and it said the more compelling the rational explanation of targeted treatment effects including an explanatory model and a model of unique and common change mechanisms the stronger the meaning response is expected to be resulting um, increasing hope and positive expectations with regard to treatment. And I think that just falls in line with um, the consent form. I think the more informed the consent form is, uh, the more understanding the client has when they walk in to the session, knowing what to expect. And it kind of lays down the boundaries um, to allow good treatment to come forth out of it. Anyway, um, thank you so much.